queen, her majesty implied. Queen of the winter, her kingdom is a kingdom of snow. She rules the mountains and the valley below. But the kiss of spring will come one day and melt her heart of ice away. You know. Friends, I can hardly wait to tell you the story of the heartless, icy Snow Queen. And who am I? <laughs> well, you can call me Old Dreamy. You see, I go around putting dreams and ideas into people's heads while they're asleep. <laughs> Pretty sneaky, huh? Well, anyway, once upon a time, I put an idea for a story into the head of an old friend of mine, Hans Christian Andersen. And this is the story about the Snow Queen. Now listen carefully. First, I want you to meet two very young people. The girl's name is Gerda, and the boy's name is Kay. Kay and Gerda live next door to each other. And right now it's spring, and young love is in the air. There are birds in the air, too. Look, Kay, there's a swallow. Oh. Just look at him. See? Bringing his girl beautiful white flowers day after day. Kay, I have a flower for you, too. Kay, please. Can I be your girlfriend? And this one, for you. Oh, thank you, Kay. Let's plant them in the flower pot. Great idea. Here, take it. They'll grow up side by side. Like us. And we'll always be friends. Like us, yes. And always be happy together. And always love each other, like us, forever. Forever. Hey! Coming! Gerda! Yes, Grandma! Well, goodbye, Gerda. Goodbye for bye now. Bye-bye, Kay. Yes, sirree. I call that a pretty beginning. All through the summer, they played in their garden of dreams. And then came the rains. Followed by ice and snow. On the long, cold winter nights, Kay would come to visit Gerda. Nothing could keep them apart. And when it's cold and frosty outside, it feels so good to be warm and cozy inside. Look, it's snowing again. How gently the snowflakes swarm about. I call them white snow bees. White snow bees? Do they have a queen like other bees? Where do they come from? Would you tell me? The snowflakes come from the very far north. And they fly, fly, fly over stormy seas, through icy winds, blizzards, and fog. They are loyal servants of the Snow Queen. The Snow Queen. Oh, yes. Oh, my, yes. Let me tell you about her. She lives in a palace of ice with icicles dangling from every window. Oh, she's beautiful, all right. So beautiful you can hardly believe it. Her eyes shine like stars, but they have no warmth. Just like her palace, her heart is all ice. Brrr. Well now, I'll let Granny tell Kay and Gerda about her magic mirror. There are many strange things in the frozen palace. There is a mirror of ice. 
And when the Snow Queen looks in it, she sees her whole kingdom. She sees endless fields of snow. Ice-bound seas. Many wintry nights, she flies through the city streets and peeps in at the windows. Oh, my gosh. Look! There she is! It's the Snow Queen! She's staring at us! There's no one. Don't be afraid. Oh, I'm sure. What do we do? I saw the Snow Queen peeping in. Well, let her come in. I'll put her on the hot stove and she'll melt. <laughs> Young man, you're pretty brave, but beware. The Snow Queen is angry tonight. She's swirling around, smashing windows. She's breaking her magic mirror. Go, splitters of ice. Fly away. Fly throughout the entire universe. Into the wild noise of the wind. Fly into the eyes and hearts of those who have offended me. And to him who gets a grain of ice in his eyes, may everything look ugly. And let him who gets a splinter in his heart become evil and do evil in the world. Fly, splitters of ice. Fly away. Storm. Look at those big flakes whirling about. Kate, there's something moving towards us. Oh, it's the Snow Queen. his heart is a lump of ice. How awful. One fine winter day, Kay set out with his sled for the village square to play with some older boys. Gerda ran after him. Kane, I never fell, and if I do, I won't cry. 
You never fell? And you won't cry? Then get on. Now, wasn't that a dirty trick? He dumped her off the sled into a snowbank. And now he's leaving her there. Oh, he really has a nice splinter in his heart. The boys in the village square used to hook their sleds onto sleighs to get free rides. Well, that's just what he did. Only he couldn't get his sled unhooked. And he was whisked right out of the town gate before he knew it. could he do? He was cold. So you're going to put me on a hot stove and change me into a puddle? Hear me, boy. No living thing can resist me. Child, you're cold. Come closer. Have no fear. I'm so my heart is frozen. Mm. No more kisses. Sometimes the kiss of winter may be too much for mortals. Fear not, boy. Trust me. The winds will carry us to a wintry wonderland. Neither joy nor sorrow. Nothing but peace and cold. The winter had passed, but Kay did not return. In vain, our little Gerda waited. And when the first robin chirped, little Gerda put on her best dress and bright red shoes. Kissed her sleeping granny goodbye to start out and look for Kay. Swallows, swallows, I'm searching for Kay. Have you seen him? <coughs> Little lamb, did you see Kay? <laughs> Please take me to Kay. I'll give you my red shoes if you'll carry me to Kay. Please, please don't refuse them. Gerda threw her red shoes into the river, but they were washed back to shore. She climbed into an empty boat so that she could throw them into deeper water. As she did this, the boat drifted out into the stream. She watched her red shoes sink with the happy thought that now she was on her way to find her loved one. Thank you, River, for accepting my gift. Now please take me to Kay. Oh, you're such a kind old river. I'll never forget you. So down the river, little Gerda drifted hour after hour. She didn't have to steer. The friendly river took care of that. At last, the boat headed for the bank. 
As Birdie jumped ashore, she saw the strangest sight. A little house with four wooden soldiers in front. They were playing a little tune on trumpets and drums. Gerda was still a little frightened when an old, old lady wearing a big straw sunbonnet came out of the house and ordered the soldiers to stop the music. Now, I may as well tell you right now, this old lady was a sorceress with magic powers. But she wasn't a wicked witch. Oh, no. <laughs> she just used her magic for her own amusement. And when she saw Gerda, she thought, what a nice little companion this charming girl could be. And so to make sure that Gerda would stay with her, she put her to bed, said, Abracadabra, and some other silly magic words. And soon Gerda was asleep. She slept for days and days. And in her dreams, she often heard voices. Do what your heart is feeling. Love can be so appealing, but do it while you're young. Do what the roses sing. What is the point of laying? But do it while you're young. Go after the one you love. He needs you. But do it. Don't wait. And follow your heart away if needs you. Mr. Crax. He was a big black raven who came over to her and said, ah, Hello, ah, hello. Gerda was glad to see anyone, especially a bird who might have seen Kay from the air. Imagine how happy she was when the raven said, Oh, I've seen him. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, He's over in the palace. Gerda couldn't wait to be taken there. But since she couldn't fly, Mr. Carax had to walk with her. And oh, his feet were killing him. Ah, here we are at the palace gate. But they won't let Gerda in because she has bare feet. Wait a minute, here comes Mr. Carax's girlfriend, Henrietta. She'll let her in the back way. 
They went through many rooms of magnificent splendor until they tiptoed into a bedroom. There he was, asleep. Kay, wake up, dear. Kay. The prince cried out, Guard! 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 Oh, my goodness! Wrong boy! That wasn't Kay she woke up. It was the prince. And now she's running for her life. All the palace guards are after her. Oh dear, they've caught her. She's begging for mercy. She's telling them about her search for Kay. Well, there you are. Kay wasn't in the palace. So then, where was he? Wait now. Let's look elsewhere. icy roof of the world, the land of the Snow Queen. Flowers, beauty, joy, and love are all illusions. They do not exist at all. Forget them. I must forget them. Forget flowers, beauty, love, joy. Forget, forget. Do you know what joy is, Kay? No, I don't. And beauty? I'm not sure. Tell me, Kay, what is love? What love is? No. But I do remember. Gerda! Gerda? Yes. You remember Gerda? Yes. <laughs> Child. Heart is cold. Ice. There is no room for love. None. Meanwhile, back to Gerda. What's this? The prince and princess are touched by her story. They want to help her. They present her with a beautiful new chariot of shining gold with a coachman and three footmen. The seats are filled with sugar cookies and gingerbread. They give her a new bonnet and mittens and a mink muff. And then a fond farewell. Yes, even the ravens have tears in their eyes. The golden chariot was shining in the sun as they speeded clippity clop past beautiful cherry orchards. Good it was all smiles because she felt sure with this wonderful new way of traveling she couldn't fail to find Kay. But then they entered a dark forest. Little did she know that lurking in the shadows was a band of robbers. One of them was a bearded old robber woman who had a devilish daughter named Angel. Oh, look out, Gerda! And so the robbers and the robber woman and that little wildcat Angel kidnapped Gerda and took her to the robber's castle. 
angel had taken all of Gerda's nice new things, she treated her not too badly uh, for a prisoner. She showed Gerda her various pets. Oh, there were doves and rabbits and foxes and a beautiful reindeer named Bucky. But Angel was a cruel little girl, and so she kept all these outdoor loving creatures chained up in her cellar. Oh, shame on her. And in the cellar is where we find Angel and Gerda now. Well, Blondie, you've just been added to my collection of pets. Ha <laughs> ha. Princess. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm not a princess. I'm only Gerda. Someone I love has gone away. I've asked the birds, trees, and flowers, but no one knows where he is. <laughs> You're stupid. Oh, we know. We know. We, we know, know where he is. is. The Snow Queen stole him. <gasps> she stole him? They flew past our nest on the way to Lapland. She blew on us, young ones. And they all died, except us three. Lapland? Where is it? In the far north. Oh, how beautiful it is there. What's all this foolish talk? They know where Kay is. Oh, phooey. What do those silly things know about him? We know. We know. We know where he is. I know, too. Yes, yes. Smarty. <laughs> Be quiet. <laughs> Look, Bucky. Take Gerda to the Snow Queen, and I'll let you go free. Now go! Oh, thank you. At your service. <laughs> Or I'll Hush. change my mind. Hush. All of you. <gasps> Run while you can. Wait. Might as well take your hat. Thank you. And your mitt. Thank you. And your pretty muff. Thank you. No. I'll keep the muff. <laughs> Hurry. Get going. Angel, I shall never forget you. Oh, stop it. And don't cry. I warn you. I may change my mind. Now on your way. Go! Goodbye, Angel. Cry, baby. Move on! Move on! Run! Run like lightning! And take care of Gerda! Bye! Goodbye, Angel. Thank you. Well, there goes Gerda again, always leaving. My goodness. And this time she's riding on the back of good old Bucky the reindeer. Oh, but first let me tell you what happened to Angel. She suddenly felt kind and gentle for the first time in her life. So she set all her little captive pets free. And you know what? They were so grateful they didn't want to leave her. Isn't that touching? Meanwhile, Gerda and Bucky were bounding over stones and frozen swamps toward the wintry country of Lapland. Please, Bucky boy, hurry! Hurry! It was bitter cold, and poor Gerda's teeth were chattering. What do we do now? Tell me. Mm. Mm. Hurry, hurry. Finally, they arrived at a little hut with a door so low you had to crawl to get in. And an old woman was cooking fish on a stove. Oh, you poor thing. The Snow Queen stopped here, too. 
But that was a spell back. She went on northwards to Finland. And Kay was with her? Yeah. Poor lad. He was pro-solid. Oh, dear. Poor Kay. Bucky, Bucky, I must go to Finland. Take me there, please. Wait, my cousin can help you. She lives in Finland. I'll write her. Mm, that's me. Always running out of writing paper. Here, give this codfish to my old Finn cousin. She'll help you. Thank you, goodbye. Hola, thank you. Now, who ever heard of writing a message on a codfish? Well, that's what the old lady did. And now Bucky and Gerda are off on an even colder ride to far off Finland to find the old woman's cousin. than she. Eh, what's stronger than love? The Snow Queen's gardens eh, are ten miles from here. So, eh, take her there. Eh, there's no time. We must hurry. as they headed for the palace of the Snow Queen. The wind was howling, and they could hardly make any headway. Bucky kept falling down, and now at last he just couldn't get up. Gerda, bless her heart, couldn't help crying. I know, you're tired, but... Oh, please. Please get up. I have to find Kay. Please, Bucky boy, help. I must go on. I must. Forgive me. Goodbye, Bucky. Goodbye. Little Gerda. No hat, no shoes, no mittens. She had to go on alone. And now it was snowy. The snowflakes kept getting bigger and bigger until they were the size of snowballs. They kept hitting her in the face. Then, there it was before her very eyes. The beautiful shining palace of ice where the cruel Snow Queen was keeping Kay in captivity with an ice splinter in his heart. Gerda was so weak, she could barely crawl along the ground. But love gave her strength to finish her long search. The gate of the Snow Queen's palace was a solid wall of ice. But Gerda, with her newfound strength, opened it easily. No one was in sight. She roamed through hall after hall, but no Kay, no anybody. Kay! 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 And then, suddenly, there he was. Quickly, she ran to his side. Gerda! 
Go away. Go on. You bother me. Kay. Kay. Kay, darling. Don't, don't you know me? Kay. So hot. How painful it feels. Right here. kissed the Queen of Winter and melted her heart of ice away. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's gone. Gone, 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 gone! All that remained now was for Gerda and Kay to get home. It was a long journey. They rode on Bucky the reindeer, who was good as new. On the way, they visited the many friends Gerda had made. The codfish woman and her cousin. The reformed robber girl, Angel. The prince and princess. The ravens who were still cawing at each other. <laughs> the good sorceress. And the friendly river who gave Gerda's red shoes back to her. And finally, they arrived in their native village. Our roses. They are blooming again, like before. <laughs> oh, well, and so later, Kay and Gerda were married. But that, my dear friends, is another story. Queen, her majesty in white, Queen of the winter, her kingdom is a kingdom of snow, she rose upon. 